Hey guys, I'm over here at work and I'm thinking about uh, printing up something to put these pig pad mats. They're, uh, looks like a paper towel roll, roll on steroids or something. So I'm thinking about designing a bracket that I can just have it, oh god, it's hard to even get the camera back that far. But have it where it just kind of stands off a little bit from the side of the rack here. Um, where it's got a top and a bottom to it, just to kind of hold it like that. Um, maybe use a dowel to go through the center of it. Uh, I believe it's like an inch and a half. I think I can get an inch and a quarter dowel to fit through there comfortably. But I'm thinking about doing that. So I'll uh, go home here in a little bit. I'll uh, set up something on Tinkercad and see if I can design something for it. I'll see you guys in a bit. Well, guys, the unfortunate thing was that whenever I went to model all this, it turned out my screen capture software wasn't working at the time. Uh, this is my pig pad holder that I designed. Uh, as you can see, I made a pocket here. Originally, I was going to just do it with double-sided tape. I decided to make a pocket so I could fit a neodymium magnet inside there. And then I made a little pilot hole so I could uh, screw it in there with those little screws that come with them. I found the magnets over on Amazon, and so I uh, purchased a few of those, and seem like they're pretty strong, so I think that might work pretty good. I really made this way clunkier than I should have. Uh, this right here is the bottom. Now, the bottom of it, I want it to be pretty beefy, but I think I could have could probably go back and redesign this a little bit. But this is kind of a prototype. Now, let me show you the next one I, that I did. Okay, so this one is the top. Now, this one I really need to redesign it because it does not need to be like this. Um, after I designed it, I decided I, I should just uh, like cut it off, not have this big of an area, because it's really not going to hold any weight whatsoever. So I definitely will go back and redesign this. But once again, made it so the neodymium magnet will fit inside there. Uh, made it where the hole goes all the way through. Uh, that way I can use like a uh, wooden dowel to go ahead and set this up. And so because I'm going to be using a wooden dowel, I went ahead and I did one more thing. Let me show you that. Okay, so this is the, I like a little handle or something I, I designed to put on top of the, the wooden dowel. And as you can see, I made a little hole in it. It's got a pocket so that the dowel will fit down inside of it. I gave it a little bit of a tapered edge to it and kind of a gear look to it so it'll be easy to grab to pull it up out of it. And then underneath, I made a, a larger pocket, so a, I believe it's a uh, number three uh, screw head will fit down into it. Number three, number no, number six, I believe it was. Um, anyway, it's big enough so a screw head will fit down inside there and be flush once I, once I screw it into the dowel. But anyway, I'm going to get all this all printed up, and I will see you at the end of the time lapse. Well guys, it's been a little bit of time since I started this print. It's actually been about a month now. Uh, a few things kind of happened, but everything's all good now. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's see if we can get this off the build plate. I got it heating back up now. And let's see if I can get to release from this build tack. I've never left a print on a print bed that long before. So here's hoping I don't have a whole lot of trouble getting it off. There we go. It looks quite nice. Uh, looks like some of my build tech came apart on it. Cool. I did set a magnet in there just to see how the sizing is. It looks pretty good. Let's see if everything holds up when I put the screw in it. like a glove that should work 
So the next thing is to take this, take this, and the cap, take it to work with me, see how it works out, and hope for the best. Worst case scenario, I'll just put a little bit of double sided tape on there to make it hold. I'm just curious if it will actually hold or if it will want to slide. But I won't know until I actually get to work and uh, try it out. Anyway guys, I'll catch you in a bit. Okay guys, so I'm going to take this right here. This is the base. Let's pick it right about there. Make sure you guys can see it on the camera. Yeah, it looks good. And the top piece will just go up here. And then just take my pig pads. Which I have a brand new roll of them right here. That will sit on top of that piece there. This will drop down through the center into a little pocket that's in that base. That she goes in. There we go. Now I can unroll those anywhere I want, tear them off as needed. Nice thing is they'll be right there whenever I need them. They'll be there. Just unroll them as I need. So if I need two of them, I can just rip them right off like that. Throw them down on the oil, whatever I need to throw it down to, and it'll absorb it. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.